the process of, in, of innovation or really being innovative is, is, is what you achieve when the end product of your research does result in real change happening on the ground. The Trill Centre, or Technology Research for Independent Living, um, is a, an active research collaboration between um, academics, clinicians and industry partners. What we try and do in Trill is to better understand the problems associated with an ageing population and then to design and develop technologies that might improve the healthcare process or improve health and social care models for the ageing population. Trill was initially established with um, backing from Intel Corporation. In 2009, um, GE Healthcare also joined the Trill Consortium and since 2011 we have been working very closely with a new company that's been formed by Intel and GE called Care Innovations. Healthcare providers, those that pay, are looking around for where they can maintain standards of care but cut costs. And a big, significant percentage of healthcare budgets is acute hospital costs. And in that context, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is an expensive disease to manage. We have a, a suite of technologies, uh, both indigenous, developed within UCD, and also externally with industry, that we are currently validating in COPD patients just discharged from hospital. There's a variety of technologies, some are non-contact, they're just by the bedside, uh, they measure various things, but patients aren't aware of them. Some of them the patients have to wear at night. And the idea really is uh, to comfort the patient that they're being monitored, um, have an early warning radar system that detects when they're beginning to deteriorate. So we get primary care intervention uh, and ideally stop them deteriorating and stop them coming back to hospital. The potential of this technology with regard to helping patients on a worldwide basis is phenomenal. I as a patient would prefer to be at home and you know if I'm in hospital I don't want to be in hospital there are risks being in hospital so the earlier I get home to my own bed the better and if we can provide a safe environment in their home that they are comforted by that actually is validated and can detect when I'm getting weaker and allow my GP to come to care for me earlier that's the perfect system for the patient. The role of the caregiver is a very important role because more than half of the care that's provided to people with dementia is provided by family and friends. The role itself is quite challenging and can lead to elevated levels of stress, social isolation and depression. The caregiver support tool is a technology we have developed to support and provide information to people who care for people with dementia. So the benefits of this tool would be the provision of a remote assessment to look at the levels of stress, levels of coping and burden that the individual may have and allows the opportunity for the healthcare professional to intervene and provide some support to the caregiver and ensures that they are able to maintain uh, their role in delivering very important care uh, to the individual. We really need to bring the voice of the end user right to the fore in any technology development and design process. Trill was one of the first centres on an international stage to start to bring that type of approach into technology design and development.